Hello, all right, all right, all right. Welcome to another one about my sums of World of Tanks Xbox 360 replay videos. We're in the IS-7. We're platooned up with the uh, X Phantom, and uh, we're gonna have a pretty good game here. Well, well, I shouldn't say pretty good game. Acceptable game. Much I I say pretty good because I had so many bad games in the IS-8 that any game that's decent in this <laughs> ends up being a pretty good game for me. <laughs> I'm still expecting it to be a p complete piece of shit. So, and so far, it's 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 got its good and its bad points, but it's not bad. It's what the IS-8 I wished was, somewhat. I mean, I know this is a tier 10, but usually I find that the tier nines are, are comparably pretty good compared to the tier tens. I mean, usually tier nine is really good, and then tier ten is yeah, a little bit better, maybe. But this is like night and day better. It's like going from a tier 7 to a tier 10. I, I consider the tier 8 a tier. I mean the T8. Uh, Jesus. Let's start over with that one. The IS-8. About as comparable as a tier 8 tank. I would much rather be in my IS-6. Which is a tier 8 premium. Russian. I would much rather be in the IS-3. So... Than the tier, than the tier nine IS eight. So. The IS seven, better tank, much better tank. We are here with the X Phantom. He's in his IS seven along beside me, and we're looking to dole out some damage. We got an IS three up there. We got a T ninety five up there. Um, I believe there's an E one hundred, maybe Carnarvon, obviously. I believe it's an E one hundred. Yeah, there he is. So we've got a few formidable tanks up there. But our team plays pretty good on this side. It seems like when you're on this map, this side always wins. So, you know, just an observation. Usually when I'm on the other side, we lose. So, Don't know if that's a map um, imbalance thing or what. But IS-8, there's my favorite IS-8. Watch us. Yeah, no if hands or butts. Boom. 563. He was full health. And now he's down below half health. Half health. And now he's down to no health, basically. And I won't even try to aim for the front. Just put it anywhere it'll go through. Sorry, my mic was a little too close to my mouth, I think. It was picking up some weird sounds. ISU 152. Yeah, you better turn quick on that, buddy. And he misses and gets finished off. So our team is doing pretty good on this side so far. And there's a T95. And I'm going to hold my shots on him. Because I use 15 rounds of premium and 15 rounds of standard. I don't want to waste any rounds bouncing. Um, if I can help it. So he's not moving up yet. I was on mic with Phantom saying in a minute we're going to have to move up to that next next little valley and he was all for it and so we uh i tried to put one into the gun of the t95 hoping to take his gun out didn't work i, mean, I knew it wouldn't penetrate but i was hoping i took his his gun out so but we get to move up he was still reloading obviously someone's shooting premium at him there's a canaveran over there yeah, he's not gonna be able to shoot us as long as we're on this hill over here, he'll be behind us as long as he doesn't be able to come in and flank us. And you notice Phantom and I are the two that moved up. Which is fine. Um, the E-100's hiding behind the T-95. That's pretty pathetic, really. We take a good chunk of the T-95 right through his uh, commander's hatch. And uh, he fired at someone else, so I know I'm free to come up and aim in completely again. And we'll put another one through the commander's hatch for another... 580. So, uh, he gets finished off right here, and I should have held my shot, but I thought I had it, and then he, you know, split second. Phantom is pushing the E100 back, who's almost dead, and I'm reloaded, and I'm gonna come around and finish him off. So, uh, that's this whole side wiped out pretty good. Our team did pretty good on this side. And of course, 
two of them, two of our heavies. Um, oops, 450 out of the Carnarvon. Two of our heavies behind us right now, see them running? They're going to run for their cap. And so we get two big heavy guns on our team going to cap. When we outnumber them like we do. It just it baffles me how some people's brains work. And just there was a post on the forums not too long ago about why someone capped and, and everyone just bought right into it. There's like idiots. There's a time and place for capping. When you outnumber them like we do right now, you don't cap. Go f get, get some more shots in. Nope, we're gonna be two morons and we're gonna cap. <laughs> Ugh. Anyways, there's still four of them left. And a bunch of us, or a few of us, are moving over. Try to get some shots. I'm pretty much the furthest one ahead. I think I should have had that T34, and I don't know what I hit. Kind of sucks because I'd like to have had that kill. There's the uh, Waffle Tracker E100, the awful waffle. And uh, we're going to finish him off. Oh, not quite. Low roll, of course. But someone else finishes him off. So there's only one tank left in IS3. And we cap. It is ugh. Morons capping early. You would think at tier 10 they wouldn't do it. I don't know. Just idiots. I could understand if you got more points for capping. You, know, you get more bonuses for capping, but you really don't. You don't get that much of a big deal bonus for capping. So uh, we dealt pretty good damage into the IS-8. Really good damage in the T-95. 515 out of the Waffentrag E-100. If that was a high roll, I would have killed him. But of course, we don't get the high roll there. We get a low roll. Well, an average roll, I guess. We end up with 3,700 damage. 355 spotting. Two kills. Um, Phantom ends up a little bit above me with almost 5,000 damage and 1,400 spotting. Um, one of our idiots that capped was an E-100. And the other one was a VK-4502. Who did 306 damage during the game? And an E100 who should have definitely done a lot more than 1300 damage does 1300 damage in caps. So, yeah. You can see the, the Tortoise Conqueror and us two IS7s did all the work on the team. So, yeah. But, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Tell me what I did right, tell me what I did wrong. And uh, if you see these idiots at capped, Yell at them. <laughs> tell them they're morons. So, Yeah, don't yell at them. Don't tell them they're morons. But just, just know that if they're on your team, they're going to cap early. So, um, that's, that's it. Remember when you're on the battlefield, shoot the red ones. Don't cap early.